thought mesh models were difficult to work with. Well, they, they used to be, and really they're not common. Not, not a lot of people make mesh parts, but uh, there have been a lot of enhancements in Mastercam in the last few years that make programming off of a mesh super easy. So, for example, the biggest difficulty with mesh parts is the fact that they're essentially just one body, right? So when you pick this as your drive surface, the whole thing is your drive surface. So you may need to trim it and cut it up a little bit, and that's no different here. I had to make a few different bodies out of this, but sometimes you really just don't want to program a mesh. And there's actually a few cool ways of turning this thing into a surface. So what I did in this case was essentially just drawing a quick line, you know, something like that. So I'm gonna offset this a few times. And really this is just getting me kind of a rough layout of some lines here, right? If I go transform project and I can just take these really simple lines, project them onto a surface, saying that's my surface. And now I have these, these lines that follow the exact contour of that mesh. So if I take and I loft the surface across those lines, I can flip the normal, you can see it's green there. Yeah. I have now a surface patch that is basically the exact same thing as this mesh. So it looks like you picked that one specifically. Is there a reason why you did that? There's actually a gap here between the tube on the outside and the shell of the helmet. Yeah, I see it right here. Right, so on, on the actual part, I had to fill it in, right? Because, you know, despite how cool and thin the mask ended up being, I wanted to keep the outside rim attached. I had to create a surface that wrapped all the way around this tube to not allow the tool to fall inside. Mm -hmm. And what I did was basically create a fillet surface. Now, all I have to do here is create a, a line that is gonna represent the vertical of the fillet. So yeah, the, the whole goal here is, you know, we really don't want to see that fillet, right? We want to know it's there in terms of structure, but we want to make sure that fillet is fully hidden from, from the viewer. So you're talking about this fillet right here? Yep, yeah, so see how you can't really see it until you kind of position your head just right. It's, the goal is to make sure it's really hidden. So in order to create that fillet, basically I have to create a piece of wireframe here that is just inside of the outer edge of the shield. Now, an issue I ran into is See how it's hitting all these autocursor points? Yeah, that must be annoying. I can't really get the line I want, so you could always go and turn off your autocursor, but check this out. Press down the control key, your autocursor turns off. Now that is a nice feature I did not know about. So even if you wanted to create a line that's like one degree, right? I can't, I can maybe look at this, I have a, a two degree line, but I can't really get that. If I hold control down, I can get any line that's really close to a horizontal that I want. Nice. So in this case, just hold control down, place your line, and I'm going to just create a drafted surface here. And this surface doesn't really matter, it's just going to be kind of the seed for the, um, for the fillet. I'm going to go and create a fillet between this and this. The radius can be 125, it's just going to be less than the radius of my 6 millimeter tool. Delete these guys, and now I have this really nice fillet that's, again, is hidden from the viewer and it's going to maintain structure on this part. Nice. Yeah, because the issue you always run into is that it doesn't blend nicely with the corresponding surfaces. Right, so having that fillet, it's really tangent to both of those surfaces, it's really not going to jump out to your eye because with a part like this, everything's finished so well, you need those blends to be absolutely perfect. And in this case, Mastercam surfacing, perfect.